Hey everyone, my name is Abhishek and welcome to Motion Nations. And in today's video, we are going to create this dynamic minimal shape animation in After Effects without using any third party plugin. So before I begin, if you guys are new here, then please consider subscribing and make sure to press that bell icon so that you never miss another amazing video like this. So without wasting any further ado, let's jump into After Effects and get started. Alright, so right now I'm in After Effects and before you proceed with this tutorial, you can download this project file which has all these shapes pre-created and link for that is in the description below. And if you don't want this file, then you can just simply create these shape on your own. Otherwise, you can download them. So after that, just simply open this project file and you will have these shapes. So let's begin and start animating them. So first I'm going to select all of these and I'm going to quickly hide them except the background. And first let's animate the dots so you can see that it is these dots so we can animate them by simply pressing t and let's animate the opacity start from zero and let's animate it to something like this and let me just quickly change the composition duration to something like 20. yeah i think this is good so we can just simply move it somewhere around here so we have our animation now let's enable the second layer which is the circle so now let's animate them so let's open up these circles and you can see that we have already added the trim path property so we are just going to animate the this parameter so in the beginning let's add a keyframe and let's move it to somewhere around here so that it's barely visible and let's move the indicator to somewhere around one just increase it after that select the keyframes press f9 to easy ease them or you can right click go to keyframe assistant and from here easy ease then let's select the keyframes go to the graph editor and if your graph looks different then make sure you are in the edit speed graph not the value graph after that let's select the endpoints and let's change the graph to look something like this so if i play back here you can see we have this animation and we can probably move the keyframe now let's animate this circle and let's select this and in the beginning let's search for size add a keyframe let's move it somewhere around here start from zero again select these press f9 to ease ease then in the graph let's change it to something like this and we can probably play around with the duration so yeah i think this is looking fine now let's select the second rectangle and we are going to animate its scale so first i'm going to change its anchor point so we can select this and let's just hold down the control key and let's move it over here so that the anchor point is over here and we can press s and let's add a keyframe for scale let's uncheck this and in the beginning let's set this to zero after that select the keyframes again press f9 let's go to the graph and let's select this and let's move it somewhere around here we can increase the distance between the keyframes so that it looks something like this now let's animate the second layer so we have this square and for this one, I'm going to press P. Let's add a position keyframe S. Let's add a scale keyframe as well. Then select the layer, press U. And I'm going to quickly move my indicator somewhere around here. And then just simply randomly move the square. So let's move that in the middle somewhere around here. And let's add a scale keyframe. And let's move it to somewhere around here. After that, let's increase its scale. Just randomly move this square to different places. After that, let's move it somewhere around here and let's change its size. After that, we can select all the keyframes. Then we can right click and let's select the toggle hold keyframe. So if I play back now, you can see our square will jump off and we can probably select these and let's hold on the alt key or option key if you are on Mac and let's move the keyframes closer, something like this. And we can also select this, press T. Let's add a opacity keyframe. Let's start from zero and let's press page down key and move one frame ahead and change this to 100 then again page down and let's set this to zero after that we can just simply copy these and just press ctrl v to paste these and just move them by one frame just keep on doing this and now we can probably copy all of these and let's simply paste them There you go after that we can delete the keyframes just like this so now let's play it and you can see we have this animation 
now let's animate the next square so let's select this and this one we are going to animate using the trim path so let's go to add and let's add a trim path let's open this up add a keyframe and let's move to the beginning and let's set this to zero again select these f9 and just play around with the graph something like this and we can probably move this a little bit further let's add rotation for here and let's move it press u and let's add the keyframe over here and let's set this to negative 45 and do the same thing with the keyframes there you go now we have this animation now let's animate these zigzag lines so again we are going to use the trim path so let's add trim path and we are going to animate the endpoint so let's add a keyframe at 0 in the beginning and let's move this to 100 on this one we are going to do the same thing but to add trim path but for this one we are going to animate the start so let's add a keyframe and let's set this to 100 and let's move it to over here and let's change this to 0 so now you can see that we have these two lines coming from the opposite direction again select them just change the graph of all of these layers to this and let's move them further apart yeah this is good now let's animate the next layer so we have this x and we are going to animate it just like this square so let's select this press p for position and s for scale press u and let's move it somewhere around here and let's increase its size to quite a big and let's place it somewhere around here let's lower its size and in the beginning we can just simply place it over here and let's make it even smaller again select the keyframes right click toggle hold keyframe then you can select the keyframes hold on the alt key and just move them closer so there you go or you can increase the distance something like this and in the beginning let's trim this layer we don't want to see it for this one we are going to do a simple scale and rotation animation so let's add keyframes and let's press u and in the beginning let's change the scale to zero and let's add one to the rotation f9 let's change this to something like this so there you go we have this animation and we can probably move this further just like this now let's animate the others so over here we have these circles so we are going to animate just the scale start from zero and let's move them further apart and we can probably change their position something like this now let's animate this semicircle so again trim path so we already have the trim path property and let's just simply animate it so let's add keyframes and let's go somewhere over here and i'm going to set this to 50 and this to 50 as well select the keyframes select the keyframes press f9 let's change the graph and let's move it somewhere around here and let's move it over here yeah i think this is looking good now let's select the other layers and let's enable all of these lines first we are going to animate this one so again we can select the end pan anchor tool and let's move it to somewhere around here and let's select this line as well and let's move it somewhere around here again let's select these two press s let's add keyframe for the scale and in the beginning let's set both of these values to zero something like this let's select the keyframes Uh, 
uh, we can and made these two small boxes so we are going to just simply add the opacity keyframe so let's copy these and let's select these layers and press ctrl v to paste them just like this now we can select these layers and let's add a little bit of delay something like this now let's just simply add some scale animation to these cubes so let's press s and let's start from zero let's select the keyframes f9 and let's change them to something like this there you go we can probably add some delay something like this so you can see that we have animated all the elements and the last step is to just animate the text so let's select all of these and let's animate our text so we have this text and let's enable it and i'm going to select this and let's move it somewhere around here now let's press ctrl d to duplicate it and let's move it in the beginning and i'm going to enable the collapse transform option from here now let's select this layer and press s and let's scale this and let's place it somewhere around here let's select the rectangle tool and make sure the layer is selected and we can create a mask something like this after that we can zoom in and let's select this and let's move a couple of frames ahead after that we can press ctrl shift d and let's select this press s and let's scale this quite a bit and after that we can place this somewhere around here and let's select this and let's press ctrl shift d once again and let's place it over here press m and let's delete the mask let's scale this down something like this let's place it over here again let's select the rectangle tool and we are going to display only the bottom region let's select this press ctrl d and press m and let's invert this and let's select the other part and let's move it to the top and let's just move a couple of frames ahead let's press ctrl shift t and just move them closer something like this and this over here after that after a couple of frames let's just simply select these layers and press ctrl shift t and we can probably delete these two layers and let's bring back our text and just align it over here so if i play back here you can see we have created this really amazing glitchy shape text animation in after effects and you can see that how easy it is to create now the best thing is that if you want to change the text you can just simply go inside the com you can just simply select the text and you could type whatever you want and if you go back you can see that the text has been updated and if you want you can also increase its scale however you want it's completely up to you just like this so this is how you can create these kind of animation and you can use it as an intro or whatever you want here's a quick tip if you want to simply change the color of these elements then go to layer new and let's add an adjustment layer after that search for hls color balance and just simply drag it onto this layer and you can change the hue and just simply change the color of these elements so it's completely up to you you can play around with it and you can see that now the colors have changed now the project file for this tutorial is available on patreon so if you are supporting me over there then you can download it from there and if you are not then you might consider it because you will get access to the exclusive tutorial project files and templates which are available only on patreon so with that being said my name is abhishek and i'll see you in the next one